One of the greatest blessings that God can give any of us are good friendships and good friends. And I've been very blessed to have many good friends in my life. And I'm think I know there's different kinds of friends. There's friends in our family, and I'm thankful that with my four children, I can say they're my friends. Um, but also there's friends that God has brought into our lives as well. And I was thinking about one of the ways that um, God has blessed my life with friendship is through Bible study with other people. And I'm thankful for the friends that I've had and made um, with studying the Bible, that we've read the Bible together, we've learned verses, we've shared what the Lord has done in our lives. And because of that, I think we've knit our lives together because we get to see the inner character of the person and we have a strong relationship with them. And I'm really thankful for that. And another area that uh, I believe God has brought friends into my life is the, through trials. I know we don't like to think about trials and friendship together, but they really do. I know when um, I've had a really hard time and I went through a really bad trial, I know that my friends were there for me. They lifted me up. They wrote letters to me, wrote notes to me. They called me and they were always there for me, no matter what. And lastly, they always were there with giving many, many hugs, which I really needed. And I'm so thankful for that. And it really um, strove to make our friendship so much stronger. And um, I, now I get the opportunity with a friend that's going through a big struggle that I can now help her. And in doing so, we do help each other. We, we strengthen each other, we lift each other up, and our friendship becomes stronger and stronger in the Lord through that. And then lastly, I believe that um, God has brought friends in my life through ministry. And I love ministering together. I've been in a lot of ministries since um, I got saved. But one of my special ministries is the prison ministry. And I, I love ministering in prisons, whether it's a small one or a large one. I just, all I can think of are the ladies there that need to hear the gospel. And I was thinking when I started that ministry with Rock of Ages, that we were asked to go to a prison and none of us had ever been in a prison before. And we were very scared and very nervous. And really, we didn't know each other very well either. So it was quite an, an adventure. But after we spent some time together, um, ministering in one prison after another, we found that our hearts were entwined together because of our love for this ministry. And we found that through prayer, because we would pray before we went into the prison, we would pray for the ladies that were in the prison. We would pray for each other as we did devotions. And we just knit our hearts together with this. And then at the end of the day, we would also pray for what the Lord had done and what he was going to do the next day. And also praises for the ladies that got saved, those that were touched. And in so doing that and ministering together, again, our hearts were knit together in such a special way. We grew spiritually together. And those ladies that I at first did not know very well, all of a sudden became very near and dear to me. And I can say the ladies that we started going to the prison with, they're some of my closest friends today. And I'm so thankful for that. So regardless of how God brings friends into our lives, it's such a blessing from Him. And I know when I was, before I got saved, my friendship seemed so shallow. But now with these new friendships through ministry and Bible study and even going through trials, I find that we've, I've developed some very strong spiritual relationships with my friends. And I'm very, very thankful for that gift.